and belief. The last thing that a comedian does before he comes on stage is not pray. Repeat. Well, yeah, you only, this is the last place you want to be doing your audition for the pee-pee dance. Trust me, no matter how funny it is, you just don't want to do it. And before I came on stage, I did just that, like a good comedian. And women don't know this, but men can't shake it off. You follow me? It can't happen. You know, you can ring. I've seen men in urinals just whack that thing across the side of the urinal six times. As soon as you put it away, it will leak. It doesn't make any, you can't do it. I don't know why you know the little keys they put on sardine cans? Guys should have hooked one of them things up. We can roll that thing back up, put it away. Consequently, I believe behind my hand there's this little spot. And I want y'all to help me out when I move my hand. Will you promise not to stare because it'll throw me off? Will you promise? Yeah? All right, here we go. Now hang on a second. Give me the money. Give me the money. You lost it back. Give me the bucks. All right. All right. Bet me I can't get a room full of people to stare at my cross. Hello, Burnham. How y'all doing tonight? Hey, y'all ready to party? Ooh, it's going to be a fun night. Gotta keep a looking crowd. This may be the best one yet. So last night here at Stardome this week, we've been having some great shows. I like to start off my show by getting to know my audience a little bit better. If y'all would, everybody over 40 applaud for me. If you're over 40. Oh, I'll tell you what. I don't know what to do to you people, I swear. What is it, man? You're over 40. You didn't applaud. How old are you? How old are you? 32. Been a rough life, hasn't it? You watch in there laughing or ass, they won't let you forget this. You don't want my ass in the parking lot, we'll leave, huh? Damn, I hate when that happens. No, I don't know what it is. You know, it seems like every day people turn for it and they don't want to know enthusiasm. It's all gone away. I don't get it. You know, you want to know what enthusiasm is? Listen to this. Everybody in the 30 applaud. Yeah, you see? That's enthusiasm. You guys over 40 disappoint me. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to let you make it up to me. Everybody over 40, pay attention. Listen up, this will be fun. This is really cool. Everybody over 40, we've been doing this all week, right? On the count of three, what I want you to do, I want you to get up out of your chairs and beat the shit out of your kids. Oh, come on, we can do it, man. I know they're young and fast. We're old and mean. We can take them. <laughs> I don't know, you know. It's kind of weird, eh? We just have to we're mad at the younger generation. You know, we're not mad at you guys. We, we get a little put out because you keep changing these things on us, you know? Every time we turn around, you alter our stuff. Like the word stuff. Y'all heard this? You guys standing on the street corner? Good little woman walks by? Ooh, look at that stuff. Man, she got some stuff. Hey, hey man, I wonder if she let me hide my stuff from her stuff. What the hell is stuff? How did we get down to stuff? What was wrong with what we call it? Anybody, you remember, come on, somebody over 40 here, where you at? Anybody my age down here? Jesus. Are you? 40, you remember what we call it? You know? What was wrong with that? Poontang. What? That had a nice ring to it. I think even women liked it. They didn't get too offended, you know? Kind of confused me when I was a kid. I was about 13, 14 years old. Got pulled up at old 53 Ford. Say, Bob, come on, man. We're going to go get some Poontang. So I ran home and got a bowl of this spoon that I thought we were going for pudding. I didn't know. It, it's just too strange. Sex is a, is a weird thing. When you get as many told you, I'm 45 years old. And uh, when you get older, sex gets to be more fun. Because of one thing. You got to your kids leave home. You get back to that jungle sex when the house is empty. <laughs> yeah, you left them a little too hard. You already have a jungle sex, ain't you? You have that kind of shit where neighbors beating on the walls. And you live five blocks away. You don't shut the hell up. <laughs> nah, there's nothing wrong with that. Kids leave home, I'll tell you what. I was the last one out of my house. I was 19 years old, went off to college. Came back home, the whole house changed. All new furniture. 
New couch, curtains, table, dining room, kitchen, everything's brand new. I asked my mother, she said, well, it was just old, you know, we just wanted to get rid of it. And I found out later, it's bullshit. They broke it. They did. They broke the bird. Ten minutes after my ass was for 19 years, my father looked at the coffee table every time my mother walked by, had this look on his face, you know? And I never understood. Now I know because she'd go by and he looked at that table and he looked at her ass and he said, Mom, when that boy leaves his house, I'm going to tell your ass up. It's you and me and this coffee table. I'm with you. I'm serious, man, it gets crazy. And we will go out and buy furniture. When you turn 40, you get around that age, and the kids leave home, and you go to buy new furniture, the criteria changes. You know? Because when you got kids, you buy stuff that is safe, that's around the corners, and, you know, it's easy to clean. When you turn 40, you get back to that jungle sex. You know, the wardrobe, boom, boom, boom. Woman walk in with that store and just, I want something that will burn my knees and hide them love things. I don't give a shit about style, doesn't make any difference who made it, where it came from. You just fit those two criteria, I'm going to be right That's all they do. And sex is more dangerous when you get off, you get crazy, you know? You stay, stay in this dining room, living in that ceiling here, you're going, well, maybe. We could, uh... <laughs> and your wife's sitting in the kitchen looking at the stove going, ain't no way. That's the thing that <laughs> I got my wife, I'll tell you, here's a good one for you. Try the dishwasher sometime. There's a phone. You just wipe on the dishwasher board and you don't have to know it. And all it's done, you hit that thing after the dishes are done. And the door pops open and all that steam flies out. Boy, you talk about an ego builder. Damn, I'm good. Woo! Y'all right, baby? <laughs> Seems like you're going to the sunburn, I'll be all right. Oh man, I don't know. Man. You, you kids, you got it. You got it bad. I tell you what. I remember when I bought a car, and my first car my father bought me was a, a 1966 Alfa Romeo. Now I want y'all to know what that is. You read that as parental birth control. That's what that car is. Cause you can't screw an Alfa Romeo. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big you are, small. You can't do it. Y'all ever see the hood ornament on an Alfa Romeo? You want to see? I have it in my <laughs> Let me leave you with this, all right? I've been doing this all week. I like my little poem. I'm going to leave you with my little poem. Sex is evil. That got a quiet. And evil is sin. But sin is forgiven. So sex is evil. I'm Bob Crawford, Bernie Ann. Thank you very much. Come on, try one more time. Come on, this side's over here a little weak. Where y'all at? Y'all ready to have fun tonight? That was better. Good. Now we're bound to That's cool. Listen, I got a couple things I'm going to hop on you about tonight. Uh, one of them is, do me a big favor, a real quick personal favor, and put your hands together for a big round of applause for the Stardome supporting live stand-up comedy here in Birmingham, man. Come on. That's it. Without Bruce and his club, I'd be out someplace, you know, repairing both flying engines or something. I don't know what I'd be doing. And uh, also your weight staff, man. Please take care of your weight staff. You can bring people out here and work hard for you. You have comic cards on your table. Would you please fill those cards out sometime during the night, preferably when I am out here so you can listen to the future. <laughs> but fill those comic cards out. They, uh, you put them you put it on the list and you get to know who's coming and when they're coming. And, well, not like that. See, she's the only one that got it. Where are you? That was really cool. And it's a blonde. Go figure. No, oh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now I got two of them going to whip my ass in the park a lot. Jesus, this is going to be a Sunday night. All right, you ready for your feature? No, no, no. you got to make her believe you're ready. You ready for your feature? Yeah, because this lady's going to rock you like you just won't believe. From Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Miss Dale.